It's time for the moment you've been waiting for. Yes, lads, yes, I hear you. You want me to make a video on Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 Remastered? The leaks, they're everywhere. They've been on every damn gaming site, and this does draw my attention. I must be honest with you, this does draw my attention because Modern Warfare 2 is considered by most of us as the best Call of Duty ever made when Infinity Ward was oh just untouchable. They were the men in game development. They were the studio that every other studio aspired to be like and they've been ripped apart slowly limb by limb over the years and the games have gone in the trash. But could this, could this lads redeem the series fuck Black Ops 4? Give me Modern Warfare 2 Remastered. I can't understand why it would release alongside a Treyarch game. Maybe Activision have got on by the fucking throats and they want to make as much money as possible, but give me that shit. I'll eat up Modern Warfare 2 Remastered. I love Modern Warfare 2. Tomorrow, there will be no shortage of volunteers. No shortage of patriots. Just imagine, ladies and gentlemen, just imagine what Modern Warfare 2 Remastered would look like. Those chilling words. That Shepard says in 4 fucking K. In 4K. Now, yeah, yeah, we'll get all the PC comments. Understand. I prefer PC myself, but it's not going to be as good or as good looking if they remaster the full game up to 2018's graphical fidelity standards. COD games are not known for amazing visuals, but playing it in 4K, just replaying one of the best games ever created, in my opinion. That shit's worth it. I don't give a fuck about multiplayer. I don't want the multiplayer. Why would they shoot themselves in the foot? If Black Ops 4 is going to come out at the same time as MW2 Remastered, why would they release MW2 Remastered with multiplayer? It makes no sense. The players will leave Black Ops 4 and go over to MW2 Remastered's multiplayer. They're shooting themselves in the foot. It's the same thing they did with COD 4 Remastered. People left Infinite Warfare and went to COD 4 Remastered because Infinite Warfare was utter dog shit. We've also got some rumours in terms of pricing for MW2 Remastered. I personally thought they would throw it in with Black Ops 4, but that doesn't look like the case. So Activision is still a bit money hungry, but for them not to include multiplayer, that kind of shows their intent that they're willing to change. I've got a lot of comments saying money hungry Activision, this and that, and I hate Activision as much as the next person, but if they're not going to slam multiplayer in, that means no bullshit loot crates, because they put loot crates in a single player FPS, they would not survive. The goddamn fans would rip them limb from limb. The same way Infinity War got ripped limb from limb by Activision. The fans would destroy them if they put loot crates in a single player only game. Now the pricing has started at 20 euros, $25 and 17 pounds or 31 Australian. Now that, that's it's pretty pricey for a single player only game unless they add some new content and they can't really change the game. Modern Warfare 3 concluded the franchise. We're yet to see a MW4. Hopefully next year we're getting MW4 and it's not a pile of shit. But, but again, what can they do? What's not already been done? Now you're paying 20 or well, £17 for a single player only game which is probably going to last around 5 or 6 hours. They might put, I don't know, they might slam zombies on it. Some bullshit like that. Um, try and draw out the story missions. Add new difficulties. I'm just happy to play it. If this really is true, I'll give props to Activision. Because it's a game I want to play. They're not slamming on multiplayer. Raven Software are the ones behind it. I don't really rate the studio much. But all the foundations are already there. They just need to remaster the game which Infinity Ward made. The great Infinity Ward. One of the best games developers we've ever seen and then it's sad what's happened to Infinity Ward it really is sad going from MW1 MW2 MW3 to fucking Infinite Warfare and Call of Duty Ghosts oh that's the biggest downfall in gaming development history that hits me hard lads it really does now I'm not going to turn this into a massive video ranting or praising it I just wanted to make a video on my thoughts on MW2 Remastered I've had a lot of you Again, a real lot of you ask me my thoughts. I'll be happy 
if it comes out it should release alongside black ops 4 in my opinion if it's not gonna have no multiplayer the rumored release date of april the 30th is fucking stupid i'm guessing we'll see more information on it at e3 when activision will be under the goddamn megascope same with infinity ward same with treyarch same with all the cod developers let's just hope they don't fuck it up let me know what you guys think of the news in the comment section below. Activision approved they're not that. They are money hungry. Let's not deny that. But if they put loot boxes in this, I will roast them to the, to God, to the goddamn abyss. I will never forgive them ever, ever, ever again. If you did enjoy the video, the lads, and you want more COD news and gamer news in general, smash the thumbs up. Follow me on Twitter. It is linked below. Subscribe if you haven't already. I'm the best damn channel for COD news. No fucking doubt. Let's do it together. I love you all, and I will see you all in the next video. Peace. Didn't know my fate, rolling heaven in my new race. Declining the call from label, still grubbing on struggle face. They all wanna know what's next shit. I don't even know myself, nah. I don't wanna hear your best shit. I don't really need your help. I'm posted and smoking just like my uncles before me. I politic with the stagnant, forget my day by the morning.